Welcome to Chopstick Travel, I'm Luke Martin and today I have a special episode for you from the countryside here in Nepal. I'm about a three hour drive outside of Kathmandu in the Dading area and today I'm meeting out with someone very special. Someone that's living out in a village in the middle of nowhere here in Nepal that you would never expect to have such an incredible YouTube channel. They're called Kanchi Kitchen. I'm going to be meeting up with them today and we're going to be cooking up a traditional Nepali feast. We've got a whole goat and they're going to be preparing it in a traditional style on wood fire and then we're going to be feasting with all the villagers. So we bought a goat, we're going to feed the entire village. It's going to be a great episode so make sure you stay tuned until the end. I'm just waiting to get picked up by him sometime now. Yep. Let's get on. All right, heading out deeper into the Nepali countryside. Let's go. Okay, that was another 30 minute drive or so on the bike. And we've come to an area that is all full of rice paddies. And this is where we're going to be cooking. It is really far out here in the middle of nowhere. And it's quite foggy right now, but I think it'll burn off later today. Not easy. Oh, my house is pretty. <laughs> it is beautiful, beautiful out here. And the sun's come out, starting to burn off the clouds, and the first step to cooking anything with meat, well, if you can't guess it, it's to slaughter the animal. What should I say? I don't know what to say. So this is the unlucky guy who's gonna be feeding the entire village here in Nepal today. Always feel bad, but I mean, that's the way of life out here. So he was just splashing the goat with water and that is the tradition here in Nepal to get permission from the goat before slaughtering it. So they wait for it to shake the water off and if he doesn't shake the water off then they just wait and try again. But uh, he shook the water off so it's time. Very quick kill, it's, it's quite humane, and right into the cooking process, nothing gets wasted here. We're gonna honor the animal by not wasting any of the meat, even the head will be prepared. Just collected some fresh spring water from the mountains and boiling the water over a wood fire just to peel off the hair from the goat. So we've just come down to see the women working away here and this is uh, Kanchi herself and this is her son, so the mother and son duo behind Kanchi's kitchen, uh, Prakash and Kanchi. Thank you so much. Kanchi Namaste. Kitchen, Kanchi. Welcome, Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Nepal. <laughs> Thank you so much. So we're going to be cooking uh, mutton curry. Yes. Traditional style. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot going on so let me show you what we've got but thank you so much for having me. Yeah, our pleasure, sure. Thank you so much. <laughs> so the women here have all these leaves and a couple little twigs and they're actually using these leaves right here to make these bowls. Look at that, serious craftsmanship. And this is uh, gonna be for eating off of and uh, holding all the different ingredients. Look at all these leaves. <laughs> I guess they're gonna be making a ton of these bowls. So Prakash, we have some people joining us today? Yes, so today we are joining around 50 to 60 people here. 50 to 60? Yes. <laughs> really? Okay, so we, we got a lot of mutton curry to cook then. Yes. They're all from the village, right? Yes, yeah. they're all from the village. Wow, okay, I'm excited. Mm. 
now I know why the women are making so many of those plates because we have 50 to 60 villagers coming to eat with us today. And this is really cool. They just have these mats here. They're actually made out of the rice and we're sitting right on top of the rice paddy. So it doesn't get more natural than that. No plastics in sight. There's a plethora of different spices here that's going to be going into the mutton curry, but also we're going to be making some pickles here. So we've got black pepper. This one is like a mix of cardamom, anise, cinnamon, fenugreek, garam masala, some ginger, some garlic. This is sesame powder. This back here is uh, cumin with coriander, turmeric, salt, bay leaves. We've got some fresh coriander and this is actually wild coriander, which is pretty unique. We've got some green chilies back here and then there's just a ton of vegetables and rice. There's all kinds of stuff going on here. So I think we're gonna have plenty of food to feed the village. <laughs> so this massive <laughs> copper pot here, it's called a kadkulo. This is what we're gonna be cooking the mutton curry in. It's absolutely huge, very traditional Nepali style. So we'll use wood fire and all the meat and vegetables and everything will go in here. And it's massive, it weighs a ton too. Look at that, super cool. <laughs> So I'm just checking up on the goat. They have removed all of the hair with uh, little razor blades and then they actually boiled down a little bit of ash with water and then rubbed it on the outside of the goat and mixed it with turmeric. It's supposed to be like an antiseptic. It kills off all the bacteria and now you can see it's completely turned bright orange. They're just giving it a little wash now. And this is just to remove all the bacterias and also to give it that bright color. So the goat has been butchered into pieces and the villagers are getting word of the food that is soon to come because people are starting to pile in. <laughs> So we're just preparing the kadkulo. He's rubbing with a little bit of mud. Why is he, what's the mud for? Uh, because protecting uh, a pot uh, by the fire. Oh, so to protect the, yes. the pot, okay. So a little bit of mud and he put some salt in there too? I yes, think, because yeah. It take off easily later when oh. he, uh, they're going to wash the spot. So that's why. This is truly a community effort. Everybody's pitching in, everybody's got their own role. Well, except for me, I'm just filming. But we just uh, started a fire. There's a lot of things going on, but I think we're getting pretty close to starting to add some ingredients to the kadkulo, the pot. I saw your mother just put some turmeric in the water. What, what is that for? Actually, this is uh, in like when we cook uh, outside, mm -hmm. uh, like close to jungle or river, uh, maybe there is a bad spread. 
so and spirit. But it's spirit, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, if we put this uh, turmeric in our rice, yeah. so they will not affect us. Ah, okay, That's so it's just a, a traditional Nepali tradition? Yeah. 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 Okay. You like the drone? Is it good? Good. Are you hungry? Ah. Uh. Yes, hungry? <laughs> okay, me too. Me too, Kiki. <laughs> So the pot is super hot. They added some oil and then some garam masala and then a ton of onions. And now we've got all the goat meat in there. I think that's gonna be plenty for everybody and there's still more people showing up. The last we counted it was like 26, but I think some more people have showed up since then. And the, it's all cooking in this copper kankulo. turmeric and salt in the mutton curry and the rice is finished and this is no joke this is hard work uh, i don't know how many hours kanchi has been at it but she's working really hard <laughs> and we're getting close the curry is really coming along and they've left the skin on so it'll add you know a lot of oiliness a lot of fattiness from that skin look at that meat you can see that yellow color from the turmeric but so far just the turmeric uh garam masala and onions and salt So Kanchi just added all kinds of other spices to the mutton curry, the bay leaves, crushed garlic, ginger, more garam masala, red chili powder. And we're also making acha, which is a type of pickle. So it's raw veggies, they added some turmeric to it, and then they fried some oil with fenugreek and then pour the boiling hot oil on top of the raw veggies and then added some sesame powder and then also some uh, special sour sauce. And the final ingredients go in, some tomatoes, quite a lot of tomatoes actually, and some greens as well. So the veggies go in last, and now we're just gonna cook it down for a little bit. So Kanchi has prepared an actual feast for the village. We've got the mutton curry, we've got a big pot of rice here. This is actually the intestines and all the innards. And then back here, this is the acha. Acha. Okay, acha. <laughs> Thank you so much. So let's let's dig in. I'm so ready to try this. It looks amazing. <laughs> so there is a one tradition. After prepare all food, we offer first bite of food for the god. Okay. Okay. So uh, she's gonna do this. Okay, your mom's no. gonna offer the first yes. bite to the gods. Yes. Now you can see why they had to make so many bowls. I tried to count, I got to about 47, but I think I missed a few people. everybody's lined up now they've all got their leaf bowls and then they're bringing around all the different pots of everything we cook starting with the rice 
and then the hot cha and then the mutton curry and also the intestines. This is such a cool experience. I'm gonna go get in line so I can taste it. This is what I love about food. It brings everyone together. Men and women, young and old, everybody's excited about trying this curry. All right, time for the pièce de résistance, the curry. Oh man, that looks amazing. Goat curry. Doesn't get much fresher than this. Look how beautiful that is. Served right on the leaf plate. All right, let's dig in. Go right in with the fingers. Oh, it's really hot. <laughs> Grab a little bit of goat, some rice. Oh, very hot. Oh wow. Mm. Very soft. Nice, yeah. Very soft. Man, that is delicious. Oh, it's so hot though in the fingers. You can taste all those spices, but it's not super spicy. And it's got a nice oiliness to it too. It really melts in your mouth. Let's try some of the, the achar as well. The pickles. Mm. Mm. Yeah. They've got a fresh crunch, a little mm -hmm. sour, and you can taste that fenugreek oil they put yes. in it as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it's all about the mutton. There's pieces of skin, there's pieces of meat. I keep calling it mutton, but it's actually it's actually goat. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. What a unique experience and absolutely delicious food. No compromise on flavor, even though we're way out in the middle of the, the rice patties. Mm -hmm. Still an incredibly delicious dish. So this is probably pretty typical for you because is, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're lucky. You get to eat your mother's food mm -hmm. all the time. <laughs> yeah. Mm. But for me, first time experience, absolutely delicious. And it's not crazy spicy, but it's a little bit spicy. Yeah. Mm. So it depends up to the people. Mm -hmm. How they like, you know, like if they like uh, spices, they put also spices. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, also they eat like not with spices. Mm. It mixes so well with the mm -hmm. achar because they're a little bit sour, and then it's got a little bit of a oiliness, so it kind of cuts through it with that fresh veggie sourness. Mm. Wow, what a meal! Wow, that was so delicious, and just like that, everybody's heading home. Like uh, it took I don't know how many hours, five, six hours to cook the. Uh, goat curry, but now everyone's gone in less than 10 minutes and eaten. But so delicious, a little bit spicy, super filling. There's a lot of rice, but delicious. Mitosa. 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 <laughs> it's delicious. Thank you so much. Thank you. Today was truly special. Nepal is full of these culinary treasures like this today. I'm really surprised coming here and seeing it all for the first time. I'm very impressed with how delicious. Nepali food has been and today was just such an experience from uh, you know seeing the goat live to it being on our plates which were made of uh, leaves just a few hours later it's been really interesting to see the whole process and I want to hear your guys point of view what do you think of this style of video obviously it's a little bit different than the street food stuff so leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this and a huge thank you to Kanchi Kitchen if you guys like this style of video then you'll love theirs you can find their channel information down below and if you haven't already subscribe hit the bell icon so you're notified see you guys on the next episode of chopstick chop bye Thank you.